Kaiser, this flora, this is Lazarus' plant, isn't it? Confirmed. You know, no one even realized it was a living thing until someone got it under a microscope and saw it had cells. Can't be cultivated anywhere but Londinian. <gasps> Real marvel. All these leeches. What's keeping you things warm? in bloom. You know, we might be some of the only... What's... What's happening? Are you seeing this? Ah! Oh my god. The heat leeches are terramorphs. But heat leeches infest every settlement, every corner of the settled systems. That means that every single one... Oh, no. You just saw that, right? You would tell me if I was losing my mind. That heat leech became a terramorph. The pests that have snuck onto every planet are baby terramorphs. Heat leeches hide out in ships, sneak away after landing, and then... With time, they transform. We... We just found out how terramorphs move between planets. That I don't have an answer for right now. But if they share a genome, like most nymphs and adults do, the microbe should have no problem dealing with heat leeches and terramorphs. The Achilles we'll have to look into. But given what we know about the creatures, I mean, I wouldn't be shocked to find that they've got an appetite for both. Pretty Major is right. But if what we just saw, if that's possible, the Lazarus plant, it's clearly an accelerant for the Terramorph, a heat leech transformation process. Make one into the other in an instant. But that means, if anyone knew about this, they could trigger a terramorph spawning. You could sneak a leech into a city, or even multiple leeches, into a place like New Atlantis. Good God. The attack on New Atlantis, does this... Could someone have set that up? Me neither. You'd have to know this all exists, first and foremost. Well, we're never gonna know if you don't catch that thing, get after it! We may proceed. 